Welcome to another episode of FML. Today we are going over why I didn't get to drive my winter car through the winter. Exciting stuff. So this is my 2004 E500 wagon and it's got an all wheel drive and I was pretty excited about driving this during the winter but I couldn't because I have an issue with the motor. And uh, if you guys followed my videos, you've seen that I had already changed the spark plugs, wires, coil packs, uh, chasing after a misfire. Well, my misfire is now moved from a cylinder over there and a cylinder over here to a cylinder here. So the weird thing about the misfire is that it doesn't do it all the time. When it's cold and you do a cold start on it uh, in the cold, it'll run perfect. I can drive around the trailer park and not have a single issue. Then after it warms up, you start getting a mess and it gets worse and then worse and worse and worse and worse. So I've already started this car up this morning because it was a little chilly and I assumed I was going to need that. So I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but the car is misfiring pretty bad and remember when I started it up this morning, it ran smoothly. Do a little rev. Let's pop the hood. Here we are. As you can see, it's misfiring pretty good. The motor's doing this number. I'll hold the camera still. Let's see if the GoPro lets the shaking going on with its advanced anti-shake features. But the problem lies right on cylinder, uh, I think it's one, two, three, four. I can't remember. It's the cylinder here, not the front one, the second one back. And I have already changed plugs, wires, and coil packs on this. Uh, you can see that in a previous video. Uh, what the issue is, is I have a stuck lifter. A lifter is causing my issues on my 330,000 mile motor. And now the question is, do I replace the motor? Or do I replace the lifters? Because if that lifter is bad, then I assume that I'm going to start having more of them fail. I'm not going to replace the motor right now. That was going to be my plan, but I had a brilliant idea for a great YouTube video that you guys are now watching. What I'm going to do is go to the junkyard and I'm going to get the rocker assembly off a 5 liter Mercedes motor and I am going to replace it. The rocker assemblies on this car, on these motors, if you don't know, they all have the lifters built into the rocker assemblies. There's like a little pin that holds them up into the rocker arm. So I'm going to replace it and worst that's going to happen is I will continue to trash this motor or it's going to run good and I will continue to see how many miles I can get off this motor. So now we're going to shut this car off, jump in the car and ride out to the junkyard into the sunset. Well, I hope you enjoyed the junkyard run because I didn't take any video of it. Uh, here are a few pictures of the donor car that sacrificed its life for this kind of stupid project. But it was really windy, so I didn't even bother trying to take any video of what was going on because, uh, yeah, it was windy. Super windy. So we are uh, in the next morning, and I am anxious to get this project done with and find out if it works or not. So what we're going to do now is start tearing this apart and uh, throw our rocker assembly on. That, yeah. rocker assembly off and it did not record me taking this off 
So basically what I got going on here is the torque sequence and then you just do it in reverse. So you start here, 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 and then just work your way into the middle. And then the installation will be reverse that. All my cam lobes and stuff look good. So I'm assuming that's not the issue. I want to say the exhaust valve is not closing all the way, but I don't know, these all kind of look good, but you never know. It could just be a little bit of a gap in there. I could have a burnt valve. I don't know. So here's the old one. So the exhaust valve would be this one and the intake valves would be these two. Nothing standing out to me that it's bad. So uh, we're going to clean that one up and start reinstalling it. I was tightening the bolts per spec and this just happened. I broke a bolt. Pretty excited about that. In fact, I'm really excited about it. So my plan of attack now is to take all this back off and see if there's a little bit left. And I kept one of these bolts from the junkyard. So I have an extra one. So hopefully there's a bit of a stud left and I can pull it out. Uh, so welcome to another day. I broke that bolt and I walked away and went to go do something else. So we are back and I just got the rocker assembly off to see if any part of that bolt was sticking out and I can just unthread it and replace it. But that's not the case. Let's take a look. So we got our holes cleaned out and I don't know if you can see this in the camera or not. Get closer. It's broken off inside there. I'm gonna try to use some needle nose to get it out and if that doesn't work, we got plan B. Let's keep going. I could not get that bolt out, so we are going to do a proper fix. Is that enough? Eh, hopefully that's enough. Put that there. Do a little stir. Next, we do a little dip. Oh yeah. There we go. And we just stick it in the hole. Like that. Fixed. That wasn't that such a big deal, now was it? Now that we have masterly repaired our broken bolt, we are all tight here, and time to put our valve cover on and get things put back together. Q time. together now for the big test will it start and not miss remember we did all this because I assume I have a sticky lifter over here so let's see what happens also in other news my can of compressed air contains a bitterant and it's going to discourage me from doing stuff later just kidding guys don't do this
Well, there you have it. Obviously, I have a burn valve or something of the sorts because that did not fix it. The lifter did not fix the problem. So we are going to go on and replace this motor in a future episode. I have other projects to do. So who knows when I'll get to this. I still have a BMW X5 to finish. And on that note, say goodbye. Thanks guys for watching and remember to keep making financial mistakes like this. Is a waste of time a financial mistake? I guess my time's worth money, so that is a waste of my time. So therefore, a waste of money. Okay, the video's done. Video's done. Video's done.